When you're getting started in your first year and you're just trying to bring together players, it's kind of like trying to put the wings on a plane while you're flying it at the same time. And you know, as you as you do that, you end up um, you you don't really get to know your players as well as you can to get the most out of them and find the best combination. So, I felt like the five game season, although it was cut short, was actually a blessing. Billy Halu, um, we, we had high hopes for Billy, and uh, he he came in last year. I think he showed what he was capable of. He just wasn't physically robust enough to do that over the course of a full game uh, coming straight out of college. So, if you see Billy now, he's. 20 pounds heavier, um, you know, he's immensely more strong and he's going to be more robust going into this year. So I think he showed some glimpses for us uh, last year. Four is, uh, it's actually, it's the pathway 404 and it starts from the way that we support grassroots. And that is more just encouraging fun and participation and club growth uh, at, at a young age. U19s, we're trying to prepare them to hopefully go into varsity environments where they can improve through their collegiate career. And then the 404 is kind of this, I'd say it's a bridge between what I'd call club, maybe collegiate rugby, and then MLR. And if you look at the last two years, and then you, if, you're, if you take a look around the league at the signings that are coming in and the move, yeah, 100%, it, you know, my ambition, our ambition is to put American players in the league. So if they don't if they don't stay with us, if we're not able to sign them, or maybe they're not in our depth chart, and they can go somewhere else, um, we send them on their way. And you know, we're more than welcome to share with the coaches that are picking them up, everything that we did with them. We just want to see them be successful and play in the league. We are, we are really lucky just in terms of how much structured organization there is around. Um, one of the things, uh, one of our first tasks was sort of looking at where did our players come from currently within the Toronto Arrows. Um, so I think uh, going off last year's roster, there was about 17 or the year before, about 17 of the current Arrows had come through the Ontario University uh, system. Um, so we knew that that, that that system was already producing uh, future Arrows. Um, so we looked at how could we um, work with them and further develop them. So myself being a university rugby coach, um, and the connections built there. And then my colleague, uh, who's our scrum coach, Dave Butcher, who's also a university rugby coach. Um, we, we worked together, worked along with all the other coaches to identify the top players in our league um, to, to start forming that academy. I think we wanted to leverage uh, the strengths that are, already, that are already here in Ontario, especially, but then you know, starting to branch out as well. Um, without reinventing the wheel, um, continue to build strong partnerships and then look to fill gaps um, where they currently exist. So for example, um, at the university level, just given our climate, our season only runs from September till late November. Um, so those athletes, while they do train from January through till April when the university ends, you know, there's not a lot of competition and they might only train once or twice a week. Um, so we looked at offering, could we offer several more hours of, of training for the, for the high performing athletes? and bring them together from a, a number of different institutions at two regional sites. So leveraging the strengths that already existed and that way we didn't, we didn't need to pull them in for strength and conditioning because they had that at their own university. We didn't need to have, a, you know, have them in four days a week, five days a week because they were gonna get a few sessions with, um, with their own institution anyway. So um, it, it's sort of a mixed bag, to be honest. Um, with the age grade, we believe that the provincial competitions that they're already in is is a, a good standard. Um, and what we feel we can do is we'll develop those athletes across a number of age grades and then they'll return to those programs because we do feel that those programs are going to be, you know, they've proven success and we don't want to take opportunities away from those athletes. So our whole mandate is to create additional opportunities. So while we'll train them, you know, it's a very skills development um, this environment so that they can go back to their representative size or their club size or their high school size um, and use those skills and they can fit into whatever game shape their coaches choose to play. At the university side, um, while, while the university competition is good, it's, it's only 14, 13 games at the very high end. Um, so we do need to find additional competitions. So we're working both domestically um, and then certainly down the road or hopefully within the next year trying to trying to line up some exhibition games with other MLR Academy sides to create that additional competition so